Hi, it's Judy Russell from RT Heaven again here. Um, I am at my studio, which you can probably see. Um, I did a live video earlier and said that I, I was explaining that I've been wrapping up some loose ends during my studio declutter. And one of the things that I um, wanted to share is some iron painting. So recently I've been doing a lot of portrait painting and you will have seen a lot of, well, there's, there's a lot of empty gaps, but you'll have seen these portraits um, being done. But one of the things that I've been doing is wrapping up um, a lot of loose ends since I've been decluttering and I've got some really great resources. So I wanted to share those with you. Um, hello, Susie. Thanks for jumping on. So if I can do this, OK, what I've got set up here is I've got some iron painting that is happening. And I just thought I'd show you how to paint. I've done these before, but not for a very, very long time. So I thought I'd just show you briefly how you can paint with with an iron, which is the only sensible form of um, using an iron that I consider. So I've got a wax block and I've got, uh, this is a craft iron, special craft iron. Turn it upside down. Now watch what happens. So this is hot at the moment. Sorry, I can't look in the camera and at this, so I'm gonna have to watch what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see this okay. But what you do is you melt your wax onto your iron get this really lovely, lovely glistening wax sitting on the top. And from there, uh, where's my camera? I might just bring this down a little. From there, um, you can then wipe. So you take the wax from your iron and wipe it across onto some paper. This so is a particular encaustic paper. So step one is just to give yourself a really good covering. And then from there, you can start to create these really, really amazing shapes and patterns, abstracts, and uh, just all sorts of really lovely shapes and patterns. You can see this okay. So a, this is really abstract at the moment. I don't know if you can see those lights and darks that you get. Um, you can mix colours, you can do all sorts, but you just get some absolutely amazing effects with it. Just by touching the wax that you've got on your paper with the heat of your iron, uh, you just start playing with it and it is ridiculously addictive and therapeutic to play with. So this is just an abstract piece that I've just been playing with here. But what I'm currently doing at the moment um, is I am, if I can move this back out again, I've seen my messy studio here behind the scenes. Um, I'm currently painting some of this style. Um, these are being done for a couple of particular picture frames that need filling. So once they are mounted up, they will... Oops, I'll get this straight. They will look like this. So they're really effective. So these are all painted with the iron again. So the technique that I've just shown you with this iron, this is completely painted with the iron. So what I do, I've got a third one to do. So what I decided I would do is I'm just going to, I've kind of started it here. So I'm just going to show you how I would finish it off. Um, hopefully it will come out okay, live on camera. Um, but the reason this is one of my loose ends, it's not a style that I'm going to be continuing to paint with going forward. Um, I used to run a, a lot of workshops with this style of wax painting. Um, but it's not something that I will be carrying on into 2021. Uh, but I have got an awful lot of resources to help people do this. So um, it is amazing, isn't it, Adele? It's, you know, it, it's so therapeutic to work with. And... Um, actually, well, just while I'm cleaning the eye, I've got a very, very fancy toilet roll to uh, clean the wax off. Um, let me just turn this up for a moment. So you, yeah. So one of the things that I mean, this is how I first got introduced to wax painting, and I, I still love it now. I, I really do love it. But I just find, for me personally, the portraits and painting with that layered style of wax is really where. Um, I get the most enjoyment. I'll still continue to do this, but I won't be focusing on it going forward. 
um, but it's just beautiful to do. You don't have to be able to paint to do this. Anybody can do this. It's um, it's really easy to for easy. It's it's accessible and it's easy to paint with at home. It doesn't kind of take a huge amount of space, um, and it's just oh, it's it's just lovely to work with. So the reason that I'm sharing this around and wrapping up these loose ends is that I have got a host of resources that can help people with this. And particularly at the moment, we're all stuck indoors. We haven't got things to do. I say haven't got things to do. You know, we're, it's nice to be creative and be able to express yourself. And it is just such a therapeutic medium to work with. So that's why I really wanted to wrap up this loose end because I have got so many resources that can help people. So um, I will come back to those, the resources in a minute, but what I, in fact, I'll show you one thing. So one thing that I'm doing, I used to supply the wax supply materials. I've got a last few selection of bits here at the studio that I am sort of sending off. So I've got one of these left, for example. So all of these will be, I'm kind of changing my website at the moment because these all used to be available to buy on my website and I've literally got the last few bits and pieces here that I'm, I'm moving on. With um, 2020 and COVID this year, I haven't been able to have any open studio days. So I've had nobody in. I haven't been able to run any workshop, in-person workshops. Um, most of the supplies that I sold used to be as a result of people coming in and doing workshops with me, but obviously all of that has changed this year. So that's why I'm kind of changing the way I'm working. It t works in terms of me focusing on the portraits as well. But equally, I've got so many supplies here that can really help people. So for example, I've got one of these kits left. Um, this is a painting kit. It contains the waxes and the papers that you need and a scribing tool. All you need is an encaustic iron, or if you've got one of those little travel irons, you know, like a, the ones that are tucked in the back of the wardrobe that you never use when you go on holiday, you could even use one of those with it. So if you want to try this out at home, I've got one last one of these available. It's 38 pounds from memory. Um, what I'm doing is just putting, popping an odd little, you know, might, I'm not sure what it'll be. It depends what's left, but um, everything's going to be sold at full retail price um, that you would normally pay, but I'm just putting in an extra might be a stamp or a scribing tool or a, depends what it is that you're buying. Um, so yeah, do get in touch if you want any supplies and I'm in the process of updating my website to reflect the new way of working going forward. Um, hey Fiona, thanks for jumping on too. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I've been kind of, I feel like I just need to wrap up all of these loose ends. It's the most beautiful medium to work with. I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to do some more painting so you can see it actually in, in action. So where are we? Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do, as I say, I've got this piece that I started earlier. I am going to continue building up this sort of, um, you know, these areas, the foreground in the front. So I'll show you how you do that with the iron. And then the other thing I have... Um, no, let me start doing this first. I can't talk and and paint at the same time. This is when it goes horribly wrong if I'm not careful. Hopefully you can see this. I can't see if there's anybody watching now. I'll put my camera down. Okay, so I've been talking and my wax has moved. So what you do is start to manipulate different use different areas of the iron to get the effects that you're looking for. Hoping you can see this okay. Always nerve wracking doing these live because you're never quite sure if they're going to go okay. I see a few people are watching, so that's cool. I 
need some height for this bit. Can you see this okay? Do pop in the comments if you can. I'm hoping you can. Otherwise, I'm here painting on my own. <laughs> is fine too. So for anybody that's been on a workshop with me in person here, you might recall having made these. These are one of the techniques that we used to do on my in-person workshops. But what I've done is I've actually put all of these resources into some online courses. So they are available as well. I'll probably come back to this and do a bit more balancing up in a minute. See this okay? Can you see that okay? Lay it down flat. So this is all painted with the iron. Oh, thanks, Mark. You can see it. Brilliant. That's good to know. Thank you. They they make really good effects, don't they? Um. It and the thing. That I always try and get across is how therapeutic it is to use as well. The way the wax glides on, it's just, well, it's just scrummy. So, let's come back up here again. So, yeah, that was just something I wanted to share. So, this is one of the loose ends that I am wrapping up at the moment. So, um, I have got, so if you like this style of art, I have got art on my website in these styles. These three that I've currently, I'm have currently i currently doing are actually earmarked for somebody, so they're not available for sale. But I do have some in a similar style. Um, they're £150 framed, which is a ridiculous price, so they won't be <laughs> at that price for long. Um, and I won't be doing them going forward either. So those are there, available on my website now. You can go and see them. They're called the Whimsical Landscape uh, Collection. So those are on my website, artyheaven.com. Um, as I say, if you want to try this, you can literally just play with this and just do abstract pieces like this. You can see how quickly I created this. It is beautiful. You can sit at home and um, just create really, really stunning abstract, mix colours, blend, and just enjoy the process of applying wax as well. So as I say, I have a last few selection of um, wax supplies that are sort of ready to go. Where are we? The right way around so i've got one of these if anybody wants to try it um if you're based in the uk if you live locally to sort of sarah at hertfordshire berkhamsted area then i'm happy to drop off for you so just get in touch you drop you know direct message me or drop me an email if you want to try it yourself i'll say all you will need for that is a a craft iron um i've got links to all of these products as well and i'm in the process of setting up um links with Amazon on my website. If you want to get um, you know lots of equipment I can get some really good um, excuse me I'm over running I can get some really good deals on big bundles of products direct from my supplier but going forward I'm not going to be supplying the equipment anymore so these last few bits that I've got left here at the studio will be going and that's it I won't be supplying them anymore. So I'm not going to throw everything at you all in one, in one hit, but this is sort of just one of the loose ends that I'm going to tie up. So I'll put some links in the comments below. Um, yeah, have a look. And if you think that you might like to have a go at this, Christmas is coming. It makes the most amazing Christmas presents. Um, and who can use it? So uh, painting in this style, I've had people from age 11 um, through to 
grandparents um, use this and they love it. They love it. It's beautiful for, I know we can't necessarily get families together at the moment, but where we can, it's lovely just to sit down and do a creative project together. Um, I've had so many people come in and do workshops in person and every single time people absolutely love the process of applying it. I think just the fact it's so smooth and buttery and just, and it doesn't matter whether you can paint or whether you can't, you can just create these absolutely amazing, um, I'll say, I mean, this is just one with that same colour, but and also I don't know if you can see how much the lights and the darks come across with this as well. And even you'll just get loads of happy accidents with this. You'll literally kind of just put your iron down and go, oh, I really like that. And you go, you know, put it to one side and then uh, come and do another. So anyway, this is one of my loose ends that I'm wrapping up. So I will put some link, um, put some links to the relevant places in the comments below this live video. Uh, as soon as I get home, I'm going home shortly. Um, and I say if there are yeah, art, supplies, resources, online courses, I've got a free five day online course. And these are all the things that I've been putting the finishing touches to over the last couple of weeks. That was it. Any questions, drop me a message. Thanks for staying on till the end. Take care. Bye.